Welcome to Opposition Day, everybody. This is Chris McClary with your Daily Surf Report. This is take number two of our surf report because the microphone did not record. I swear I saw those things going up and down, the indicators indicating that something was being recorded. But anyway, this is Opposition Day. You're going to have obstacles. There's tension in the air, if you will. Now, this goes against some of the other astrologers, so bear with me. I'll, I'll lay out all my proof here and we'll triangulate on the biggest influence that might be affecting the way you think, feel, and behave. And then we're going to talk about how to surf those energies. Okay, so let's get started. There's our astrology layout. And a lot of people are going to be talking about this uh, moon going into harmonious Libra. And that aspect does show up in the dream bot but it's not so much in the numerology. Numerology, by the way, let's talk about that now, is down here in the right-hand corner, is 10, and that is very ambitious, very impulsive. It's get her done kind of energy. Plus, it's on a Monday, so you're going to be backed up with a lot of things. And if you can feel that numerology in my voice, that's because I have to do this recording again. The last one was really good. Oh, my gosh. But can't hear it so I can't prove it <laughs> ah let's see here opposition day that's what I've coined it so moon has an opposition to Chiron I don't have that in my picture Sun has a opposition to Neptune Mercury is almost in an opposition and you have Venus in an opposition to Uranus and that's going to be the focus of our talk today but all that all that opposition is tension tension in the air and uh, not really sure about the outcome, okay? So that's going to kind of go into how we're going to deal with that. But let's look at Uranus. Uranus is being taunted here with all these different uh, layouts. We have an opposition. It has a trine. It has a square. And it has a semi-square. So we already talked about the tension scattered and hectic from opposition to Venus. Let's talk about the square to Mars. Mars going into uh, Aquarius, by the way, and that can feel a little bit impulsive as, as solutions are, are, you know, you're looking for solutions constantly um, in order to further the progress of humanity, but it's in a square. So that, that now with Uranus is going to feel more like rebellion. So the Mars energy today is going to feel more like just all out disgust for the way things are and or for the ruling ruling class and just rebelling against tradition or the ways that you've always been doing things okay we also have semi square between uranus and neptune and that's imagining the change so it's forcing you to see uh, fantasizing about new things or the way things should be looking in your life not should but um, creatively, creatively seeing newness in your life. Now, that was all kind of negative because this semi-square is, is, is in a square kind of uh, alignment. So it's not a good thing that you're imagining the change. It's like you're in a bad space or it feels bad to be in that environment and you're imagining being in a better environment. So greener pastures kind of and knowing that you can't get there. Well, maybe that feeling. But there is a good aspect here, and that's the trine that Uranus has with Saturn. And that's going to allow you to make a change without damaging or hurting or having other people be greatly affected negatively. Okay, So that's, that's really that's one of the positive features today. I think that's about it. I have... I'm just going off of memory. Let's go to the dream bot and let's look at what the collective unconscious says. Now, the red arrows and the blue arrows, I wanted to just clump right into opposition day, but I separated them out because red is newness. So let's look at newness. Let's start from the bottom platform, sending, vacation, elevator, roads and massive shifts annoying massive shifts okay um yeah that's more of a location difference 
the blue arrows is how we're feeling. And I'm imagining the blue arrows ha happening first. As you get the semi square to Neptune, you're feeling this kind of negative tension. And then Neptune says, let's imagine, I wish I was doing this, or I wish I was at the beach. So let's look at the blue arrows, annoying, monsters, monster, sick, and ill. So this is the feeling that you get before the change happens. Then red arrows come in and Mars in Aquarius in the square goes, I want to rebel, I want to leave, I want to go, I want to escape. And then just bad things happen. So now I want to, I do want to point out the Libra influence here. Daughter, fine room and gathering, gathering being the main focus there. And, you know, family harmony with the family and, and all that kind of stuff. But it's not the biggest influence, but it, it, it is worth noting there. Now that we have the influence, the influence is just the tension in the air. And let's talk about how to deal with that. We're going to talk about how to surf the collective influences right now. Okay. And if you haven't already hit the subscribe button so that you can get updates on these new surf reports. So today's energy is all about Uranus being taunted. And you can see these, one is a dog and one is a wolf. And you, you don't quite know whether or not they're going to go, go at it together. And so there's tension. You can feel that tension. You can see them. You can imagine their uh, jaws biting each other's throats and, and stuff. It's just, when is the trigger? When is the fuse going to get lit? Okay. Um, but tension fills the air and, and Saturn is going to stabilize us. But is it going to, going to and, and Libra is going to stabilize us and harmonize, but is it going to be enough to counter the other rebellious aspects? So with tension in the air, here's my solution for how to move forward. Number one is to realize that this is a very temporary energy. It's all fleeting. All these aspects against Uranus are fleeting. One is going to stick around. I think it's Saturn that's, that'll stick around the longest. And that one is the good trine aspect. So all the rest of them are going to be gone here. Uh, I don't know. And you know, by today or in a few days, certainly by the end of the week. So just hang on for a while and you'll get the better aspects here in a second. Now, if you can't stand it today, realize that the tension in the air is going to might cause you to do things that you regret later. So take a pause before actually let's let's let me take a step back I'm kind of impulsively talking so that I can get this out before I have to go to work be very mindful of your actions be very very mindful of your emotions allow those emotions to be there allow that tension to be there and that way <clears throat> you can choose certain behaviors that you won't regret later the other thing you can do is say, for example, if you're shopping that a lot of people do is as they're grabbing for the item that they think they want, they stop and pause for maybe five potatoes or three potatoes or 10 potatoes, one potato, two potato, three potato. And then in that time, they're figuring out whether or not this is just one of those fly by the seat of their, of their pants. I just need to get this, but once I get this home, it's not going to really make me all that happy anymore. Or once I consume this cake, I'm going to feel worse about myself than I was before. So I'm going to leave the cake there. That's kind of the idea there is take a pause. And lastly, look at what your values are. Hold the values that you have the most important values of your life. Push those close to you and see the world today through the lens of those values. And that way, be with, without even really thinking about it, instead of impulsively attacking the wolf, for example, you're you know, seeing love instead, whatever your value is. 
and that will, might keep you from carrying out a regretful action. All right. There are other strategies like deep breathing and well, I mean, you can just uh, meditate this morning and kind of slow your mind down. And then the food that you eat, eating less sugar and less caffeine. I think I have some coffee brewing in the background. I think I can smell that and it smells delicious. I can't wait. Um, but these are all these strategies that, that can help you today and be less impulsive impulsive so you can be with that tension without it affecting you so much okay that's all i have today P uh, please like and share and thank you for all your support it is amazing um, i'm so grateful and we're going to keep pumping these out because i'm getting helped by them and i hope you are too we're the national dream center healing the collective psyche one mind at a time have a great day